Today, we will be discussing testosterone levels in a simple and easy to understand way. Have you ever wondered why testosterone levels can differ so much in men? Testosterone, the key male hormone, isn't constant throughout the day or across different days. It peaks around 8 a.m., which is why doctors usually recommend getting tested in the early morning between 8 to 10 a.m. after fasting overnight. But there's more to it. Your testosterone levels can also be affected by what you eat, especially foods high in glucose, and they can fluctuate if you're unwell or taking certain medications like opioids or glucocorticoids. In these cases, the body might temporarily produce less testosterone, a condition known as functional secondary hypogonadism. When should you start worrying about your testosterone levels? Let's identify the alarming signs. If your testosterone test results come back low or borderline, it's important not to jump to conclusions. Repeat the test a couple of times to confirm. But if the levels are consistently low, especially in older men, it could signal a condition called hypogonadism. True hypogonadism is rare in healthy older males, but if confirmed, it requires the same attention as in younger males. How do doctors investigate low testosterone levels? When testosterone levels are persistently low, doctors run several tests to find the root cause. They'll check levels of hormones like LH, luteinizing hormone, and FSH, follicle-stimulating hormone. These help distinguish between primary hypogonadism, problem with the testes, and secondary hypogonadism, problem with the brain signaling. Additionally, they might test for other conditions like thyroid issues or hemochromatosis, and in some cases, an MRI of the pituitary gland is needed. If fertility is a concern, a semen analysis is also part of the evaluation. Be sure to follow up with your healthcare provider for the next step.